As we reflect on Memorial Day weekend, we look back and think about those that gave the ultimate sacrifice for this country and for freedom. We thank you and you will never be forgotten. How's it going, guys? It's Patriot Cigar Page. I'm finally back, guys. It's been forever since I made a last video, and I apologize for that, uh, For that, guys. Um, I've just been super busy. I have not been posting on my Instagram either. I post once in a while, but like every weekend probably. I have not been posting as much as I should be, especially on YouTube. I know I got new subscribers, so I thank you guys for subscribing. Um, it's just work's been crazy. Things have been crazy around the house, so I have not had time to upload anything or record anything. I have been smoking, but um, when I do smoke, it's just because I want to relax and I don't want to record. I want to enjoy the smoke, so I don't record it and I don't upload it, so I apologize for that, guys. But I'm doing an unboxing today. I got a huge haul today, guys. Um, over 50 cigars. So let's get into it. Here's the box, guys. I have this order is from Cigars International that had a good deal going on, so I had to buy some. I hope they fit in my humidor because I I don't have that much space. So we'll see how it goes. So yeah, guys, I apologize for not uploading, but thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate the uh, the subscription, and to all my Instagram followers, thank you for supporting as always. So let's see what we got here first. Bunch of uh, packaging there. All right, all right, all right. So what we got first, it's a five pack of a punch. Punch signature. Five pack of those and a Corona, I believe. Uh, what else, what else? Some Romeo y Julieta 1875s. And the Bellicoso. 52 by 5, so 5 inch by 52 ring gauge, 5 cigars, I like the smoke, I like it a lot, I have not tried this one, so we'll see how those smoke, I've had cigarillos of these and they're very very good, the Macanudo, Connecticut, Hyde, so 5.5 by 49 ring gauge, it looks like a good size, I like this size, I've had the cigar reels before, so we'll see how a bigger size taste. Like I said, guys, it's a huge haul. Not huge, but it's a big haul. Um, these are the ones I'm looking forward to. I've had these before once, and they were amazing. Alec Bradley Tempest, Natural. Um, so 55 ring gauge by five and a half inches long. Super excited, box press. Nice, nice. I love that band. You guys like that band, guys. Sorry for that glare. Uh, but look at that. Amazing band. The window's open. The blinds are open, so I'm sorry for the glare, guys. Um, I have a five-pack of these. I have not tried them just because I know they're a very, very strong smoke from what I've heard of. And um, I just haven't found the time to smoke them. But I, I, I love the way they smell, and I love the ch dark uh, chocolate wrappers. So I bought, them a, I bought another five-pack. The CAO Brasilia. Uh, so, uh, hopefully I'll smoke one of these soon, because I have 10 of them now, so we'll see. Uh, these are amazing cigars, I'd highly recommend them if you find them, guys, and they're always on, on good deals and on Cigars International, is the Rocky Patel Decade, amazing smoke. Um, my first experience, I think I made a, a review of it, it wasn't the best, um, but hey, you, it's a hit or miss, but, um, but I smoked it again. It was a main cigar, so I do recommend them. And then I hardly smoke infused cigars, but when I do, it's a uh, you know, special occasion when I want to get away from regular cigars. I was smoking infused cigar. I got uh, acid, some Blondies. Uh, Blondie Bellicoso. So super excited for these. Um, I've had the acid line, the Cuba Cuba. I have not had the Blondies, so we'll see how they, uh, see how they taste. They, they uh, look tasty, that's for sure. Like I said, guys, a lot of cigars. And then this is one I was looking forward to because they're new to the Cigars International knockoff line. It is Cigars International Coffee. These are a weird shape. I was supposed to get Robusto, but these look like a longer Robusto than what I'm used to. That's a weird shape, guys. Not really a Lancero. You know what? These might be the, Gor the Toros. Yeah, these are the Toros, I believe, guys. But they look skinnier. For some reason, they look skinnier than the regular Toro that I've always smoked. But, I mean, I, I'm not going to complain. I'll probably smoke one of these today 
see how they taste. They're infused cigars, it's supposed to taste like coffee, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I actually got a box. <laughs> um, these were actually on sale. I've had uh, Pinal de Rio, I I've had PDRs before. They were good, so I had to buy a box. They were super cheap. Um, I didn't. I paid no more than a hundred bucks for a, no more than a hundred dollars for a box. Sorry, I can't even speak, guys. No more than a hundred dollars for a box. So I just picked it up, just cause I like to buy boxes once in a while. And if it's a good smoke, I got twenty of them, I believe. How many come in here? Come on, how many? Twenty cigars. Yeah. So if I if I like them, I got twenty of them. So amazing, you know. So let's cut into this, guys. Let's see how they look. But I mean, for the price, the boxing is amazing. I love that. I love the black box with the gold lettering and the blue ribbon. Amazing, amazing looking box. I'll probably keep the box, do something with it. But here's one of the smokes. They look good, guys. So it's the Pinal de Rio Oscuro uh, Liga Cubana number two. They look like a good smoke. I love the size. Nice little size, quick smoke. So I got a box of those, guys. Um, if I have enough room, I'll throw them in the humor with the box. If not, I'm going to have to get rid of the box. Bummer, but oh well. And uh, last but not least, this was actually free because I ordered more than 109. I think all of this came out to 169, which is not a bad price, guys. I literally have 20, uh, 20 here, so 40, 50... 60, 70, 80, 85 cigars, guys, for $169. So you can't beat that. And then the last one is the Muwa, Nightcrawler Muwa. And obviously, if you guys have been smoking cigars and know of the Jewish State line, Muwa stands for My Uzi Weighs a Ton, which is, a, that's, that's crazy. That's a crazy name, My Uzi Weighs a Ton. Um... Uzi is a it's it's a nice nice uh, uh, gun. Um, I've never shot one. They just uh, from videos I've seen they look like fun to shoot. Um, that's pretty cool. It's a nice little story back there on. Uh, I think it's the story behind the name or the cigar. I'll read that a little later. But yeah, guys. Um, yeah, all these cigars for only one sixty nine. Wait, let me let me give you the exact price. I spent, hopefully my girlfriend doesn't kill me for this. Where's the, where's the price? Come on. Well, I guess it doesn't have a receipt. Awesome. That's pretty good because it doesn't remind me. I'm not reminded of how much I spent. But yeah, no price on here, guys. So, hey. Oh, well. At least I don't rent, uh, I don't know how much I spend, so. Oh, well, guys. And for you people that actually use these, here's the um, the code. I know it's backwards, so you might have to uh, uh, figure that out. <laughs> so sorry about that. So, yeah, guys. Um, I, Once again, guys, I apologize for not recording as much. Um, I've just been super busy with work and stuff and, you know, doing things around the house. But yeah, I have been smoking. Been smoking a lot actually. Um, I did go to. I had a trip to Vegas a couple weeks ago. I uh, visited the Arturo Fuentes Cigar uh, Lounge and I've visited the Monte Cristo Lounge. A uh, nice cigar lounge is way overpriced, but hey, what do you expect in the uh, Sin City, right? <laughs> so yeah, let's go through it one more time, guys. Since it's a lot of cigars, Nightcrawler, Punch. I should not be throwing them like that. Macanudo. Romeo Julieta, 1875s, CAO, Brasilia, Tempest by uh, Alec Bradley, Acid, Blondies, Rocky Patel Decade, CI Knockoff Coffee. The reviews on these are amazing. All the reviews I've read, they say that they're very good cigars, amazing taste and amazing aroma, so... Definitely buy some guys before they sell out and then Pinal de Rio Oscuro So yeah guys, that's actually my unboxing for today And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully I start doing more reviews um, I'll be doing reviews and talking about 
bunch of random stuff. Um, got, you know, maybe turns into a vlog where I talk about politics, I talk about life, I talk about uh, my point of view, talk about guns, talk about the military, uh, just to make it fun, just so it's not uh, your typical review of cigars, and we actually have conversations where you guys can comment and tell me, um, tell me what you guys think of my videos. But yeah, guys, comment down below uh, if you guys are into firearms. Obviously, I am because I am a proud American. Um, if you're into firearms, let me know your favorite firearm that you own. Let me know if you carry firearms, what you carry. Um, myself, I have a handgun, XD40 by Springfield Armory. Uh, amazing, reliable gun. Uh, not the prettiest, but it's reliable. It'll definitely save my life if I need it to. Um, next purchase, it might be a Glock. Or the SIG P365, I'm not exactly, but it's a new SIG, subcompact. That might be my new next purchase, guys. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be safe and take care of yourselves. I'll see you then.